Hey YouTube, thanks again for tuning in. This is Ryan in San Diego and just wanted to give you guys a big shout out. So today, again, uh, this was an afterthought over the last video I made on um, how to make a photo booth business with zero experience. And I highly recommend you guys go check that out if you haven't. Uh, to, for right now, uh, just as an afterthought, I thought I'd record this while it's fresh in my mind. But uh, talking about how much money a photo booth owner or operator can make. How much can you make if you decide to go down this route in business? And it is a very good business. So um, yeah, thank you again for just stopping back in. And uh, we're gonna, today we're gonna break down basically the costs, the costs that you would need to think about as well as the profit margin, uh, the revenue. And there's a lot of other ways you can make revenue in the system to keep upping it, um, your kind of cost of doing business. Uh, but we're gonna talk about, it. so if I could show you a way to make an extra $80,000 a year working one day a week, would you be interested? I think that's a no brainer. <laughs> so let's talk about that. So jumping right in, if you haven't, go back and listen to the first video too. That talks about the startup costs we talked about. There's about nine startup costs uh, fundamentally that you will need to kind of assess, uh, ranging from a Wix website, business email, logo, uh, cards and flyers for your marketing, um, LLC that you need to do, email marketing tools that you can do for cold email and client outreach, photo paper that you would need to do. Two other ones are the templates itself. So templates to what's gonna give you the best amount of clients. Um, and I recommend, said this on the last video, go into the Facebook description, uh, sorry, the description below. We have a Facebook group that if you go ahead and go on that, Send me an email that you're interested in getting the templates and I will send you the client template that has given me more, pretty much clients every week, uh, absolutely free. And we'll give that free of charge um, and maybe some additional training as well you can be able to pick up and it'll help you on your journey. But the biggest thing is obviously the photo booth. The photo booth is gonna be your biggest startup cost. Um, and there's different photo booths we talked about in the last one, what to compare to. The biggest thing that we recommend is the iSelfie booth. It's kind of a one-stop shop. It has everything combined. It has your printer, it has your camera, it has your software. Um, it's a one-time price, right? Other ones you have to pay monthly forever. This one's just, it, there's, you know, it's a one-time thing. But you can do financing where you can pay on a monthly basis until you pay it off um, with 0% interest, which is pretty cool. And with that, it comes down to about a 10 to $15 a day, and that's it. So let's, so very, very recommended. Um, we'll put the link in the description if you wanna check that out as well. Um, but let's talk about total costs, okay? So total costs what you're looking for to really start this business. And uh, just to give you a good rule of thumb to be safe, you want to have about a thousand to $1,500 set aside for your initial startup costs. Okay, to be safe, I would say probably 12 to 1300 um, to be safe. That's your startup cost, that's your initial investment. You need money to make money, that's kind of how it always goes. And that's really how, how this works. You wanna make sure you have that set aside and an investment, a good mindset to always have is, you know, if I was to invest in any type of business or any type of financial thing um, and it costs this amount, can I live with it financially and emotionally? That's kind of how you wanna do also stocks is something I do on the side, but um, that's the same way, it's the same rule of thumb with any type of investment that if you invest, it's not gonna put a dent into your account too much. You're not putting all your chips on the table. Same with gambling. Usually you have a stop loss, like I'll only do like 300 bucks if I'm gonna to go to the casino with friends. Um, and after that, it's done. But you wanna make sure like, hey, can I, if I, if I lost all this money, can I live with it emotionally and um, financially? And if it's like, yes, that's definitely the way to move forward. So make sure you have twelve to thirteen hundred dollars on the side. You're ready to invest for the first investment. But that's just the startup cost. That's it. After that, it definitely goes down to basically maintenance costs and financing. If you go that route, you're looking at costs around three fifty to five hundred bucks a month for everything included. And that's kind of what I found in my business. Um, now the exciting part: revenue. How much revenue can you actually make? Well, what you want to do with your charging with clients is you're charging between 200 to 400 bucks per event. Each events are lasting between three to five hours. So you can kind of do the math there, but per event in revenue, you're making about 600 to $1,200 per event. If you're doing one to four events per weekend, 
usually you do like say two on Saturday or three on Saturday, one on Sunday, two on Saturday, two on Sunday, you're making between $600 and $4,800 of revenue per weekend. If you're escalating that per month, you can make, if you're just doing one event per month, you can make 600 bucks at your minimum, or you can be making at maximum, the, the highest one we've ever seen, $20,000 per month. Now that is a long shot, that doesn't happen to everybody. It depends on a lot of factors on how well you are with uh, talking to clients and repeat business, but that is, people have achieved that. Now if you're also able to get clients per week, so I'm talking about just the weekends. If you're able to do clients per week on like, sometimes there's the random Tuesday or ladies night and thir or Thursday or something like that, uh, that can add two more events per week and you can go anywhere between about $15,000 per month to up to $28,000 a month. Now that's a lot, so it's definitely more than what we talked about originally. So I'm giving you a really good scale and I wanna manage the expectations at the same time on what you can think is possible. Um, profit, now let's talk about profit. So the cool thing is, you are, if you do the correct financing, um, again, look at the description below for our recommendations, The you will already be profitable after one event, which is awesome. You just need to get one event, you're already profitable. Your average of profit is gonna be running between $7,000 $10,000 per month. That's kind of the average we're seeing, the sweet spot for a lot of people. And based on your location, based on your location, it does depend. If you're in a metropolitan area, um, it's different than being in, in another area. So it depends on your area. But based on your location, the average is an extra $80,000 profit per year if you're doing two events on the weekend with one photo booth, okay? Two events per weekend with one photo booth. Now, how do you get that even more so? How do you really make this into a real big business? What about two photo booths? Obviously it goes up and you double your earning potential. But now you need to hire an attendant, you need to hire an assistant. Um, and there's ways of outsourcing this with virtual assistants or people physically. Um, and this is part of the things that we talk about. If you go to the Facebook page, we talk about kind of the business in the box, everything you need to really do this all together. Um, we do give you free training, but there's another things that you wanna look into on hiring and how to outsource and basically how to scale your business. Um, and that's really the key is not you're just not doing yourself. You will make great money if it's just you. Um, and obviously you have the eye of the owner, but you have also, if you start scaling it with one or two or three, um, Photo booths, I mean, you guys can do the math. You could be making a lot of money. Um, you could be making as much, you know, a doctor makes about $280,000, like a plastic surgeon in LA, on average make about $280,000 a year. If you're a lawyer, and I'm thinking of Southern California because that's where I live, um, if you're a lawyer, you're making on average $210,000 a year. If you have photo booths and you're doing three to four photo booths consistently every weekend, you're making as much as them. So um, managing expectations, always start with just one, start with yourself, perfect your own process, start scaling it, and then when you get really good in your own clients and you have two or three clients, really good clients that are getting you repeat business, right? that's what you wanna do. And that's when you can start reinvesting into getting another photo booth. So start with one, start with the initial investment, do a first photo booth, get really good at it, make sure you're, ma you're kind of maxed out on your time on the weekends and the events, right? Any type of profit, you're reinvesting back into your business, um, both in new products and marketing scaling up, um, but obviously into another photo booth that then keeps adding on. So I hope that was helpful. I definitely gave a lot of information there, um, but I it's very useful information. It's stuff that I wish I had known at the time, and it's things that I've had to trial and test myself. So again, if you like this video, all I ask is that you hit that like button, give us a thumbs up, um, you know, it helps us out big time. And I mean, I'm giving you a lot of free information, so it would really, please. <laughs> and then check out the uh, Facebook group in the description below. You'll get free templates that you can use to maximize your progress and your marketing. Um, and then check out also our recommendations as well. And that'll be very helpful. Please subscribe if you found this video helpful and if you want other videos like it about photo booth entrepreneurship. All right, guys, I'm Ryan. Talk to you guys later. Have a great weekend. Um, cheers.